This is a short video to demonstrate the operation of the single channel Deep Logic IRP P drive test board. In the center, we have the actual test board itself. On the left hand side, we have the IR601 gas sensor. At the top here, we have the plus 5 and plus 12 volt power supply. We have the frequency counter. This is used to monitor the output from the IR drive. Below that we have an oscilloscope which is connected to the output which would go to the analog to digital converter. And we also have a digital voltmeter here which is connected to that same output. So, on the left hand side we have the main power and control input. Below that we have the uh, temp temperature output from the IR601. Below that we have the connector to the IR IR601 gas sensor. On the right hand side of the board we have the pump output. Below that we have the output to the analog to digital converter. We have the on off switch. This is the main on off switch for the power uh, for the t test board itself. At the bottom here we have the test switch which allows us to simulate the presence of a gas sensor without actually having the concentration of gas itself. At the top here we have the plus 12 volt LED the plus 5 volt LED. Here is the adjustment for the IR drive itself. Here is the switched output for the plus 12 volts. Next to it, this is the IR drive LED. When the board is in operation, this will actually pulse on and off at a 4 hertz rate. To the right of that we have the 12 volts switched output and to the right of that we have the pump control. We will demonstrate the power on sequence. The first step is to enable the main plus and 12 volt power supply. The next step is to turn on the actual power to the board itself. You'll note that the, that the plus 12 volt and plus 5 volt LEDs are turned on. The next step is to actually turn on the power control switch itself. When the power switch is, control switch is turned on, you'll note that the plus 5 volt switched LED is turned on. Next to that is the IR drive LED and next to that is the 12 volt switched power LED. At the top here, the virtual ground uh, LED is also turned on at this point. Note that the, uh, the digital voltmeter is currently on and it's showing approximately a 300 millivolt signal. It fluctuates quite a bit. The reason for the fluctuation is that the um, the output is coming from the the uh, dif differential amplifier is being modulated by the phase difference between the active and the reference outputs from the IR601 gas sensor. The next thing we demonstrate is that oh, and also the scope here you'll notice that it's sitting rather steady at approximately 300 millivolts. The next step is to demonstrate the test switch. The, st the purpose for the test switch is to show that the test board can be operated without the presence of actual gas concentration itself. By pressing the, the test switch, you'll note that the output from the digital voltmeter is now reading approximately 7.8 volts 
and is demonstrated by the output on the oscilloscope itself uh, increased from approximately 300 millivolts to about uh, 7.8 volts. This is approximately 2 volts per main division. The next step is to show, demonstrate the uh, pump control. When this switch is pressed over here, this provides an enable for the pump control. Uh, you'll notice that on the right hand side the pump LED is turned on as well as an LED which demonstrates uh, or simulates the pump motor being activated. In order to provide an actual live test for this uh, we're going to use a standard um, butane igniter uh, provides a, a source of gas and what we will do is that uh, we will place it underneath the uh, IR601 gas sensor and what we will observe is that as the gas concentration increases the the output, the output uh, which will be sent to the analog to digital con converter as represented by this uh, digital voltmeter on here will increase as well as the scope voltage will show or the tracer will show that the output is increasing. We'll now apply the gas. Notice that the output on the scope is increasing and also you can see as subsequently that the output on the digital voltmeter is increasing. If we leave this long enough here as the gas concentration gets higher it will reach approximately about 9 volts. We're out of gas. When we remove the uh, the butane lighter, note that the output from the on the, the oscilloscope shows the voltage is decreasing, as well as the output on the digital voltmeter shows that it is also decreasing, and this will con continue until it uh, achieves uh, ambient uh, gas concentration. Thank you for viewing this demonstration on the single channel version of the Deep Logic IRP P drive test, bro test board. This presentation was done by Larry Hewitt of Advanced PCB Engineering.